If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Nomenclature. A lot of the things that James has done in the past is just call different ways and maybe a little different read or stuff. But you know, I, I think the, the repetition is that for doing it for a year. You know, I, mean, I sat in James kind of was talking to him. The kids feel so much more comfortable now than you know, the year. I, 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 I don't have a doubt. Ralph, as far as special teams this year, you've got some great return aids, but you've also got some key holes. So can you talk a little about that? Well, of course, you know, Tory Smith is, you know, at the ACC and kicked off the returns. You know, one of the things Charles Bankins is known for is his kickoff return teams at Richmond and other places that he's been. So I think that's going to be a real interesting marriage. We you want know, some things that are different. Uh, you know, kickoff returns, and I kind of really like them. Uh, you know, we got a preview of Tony Logan being a punt return in the bowl game. And uh, I was always the guy that favored Danny Okendo because he caught the ball. And when you look at his punt returns, that's the first thing they got to do, they got to catch the football. Uh, but I think Tony's going to be able to return the ball pretty good. He's very shifty, very fast. And so I'm hoping to gain another offensive threat right there with him as a, as a return back now. We also got, you know, Caleb Purcell and, and uh, uh, Travis Hawkins also has, has returned kicks. So we got some other guys we got to look at, but I will say right now, just after what I saw in, in the bowl game, which I thought he did, I was a little worried about that, I'm not going to tell you. interesting because I had a graduate assistant, Henry Baker, the coaches punt returns. I wanted to make sure we got the ball caught. He sure assured me that uh, Tony could get it done. And I said, you put your job on it? I said, my job? I said, your job is you're the easiest one to replace. <laughs> so I like when they st step up and uh, he did a heck of a job. I told him to me and he's still hired. You know, Travis uh, Balls is the uh, first, first team all ACC punter. And uh, Townsley's pretty good too, backing them up. And Mike DeVore won the kick in, in the spring, but not by much. You know. And I, I, you know, bringing in Nick Ferrara, who is on scholarship and uh, has a very strong leg. Now, whether he can win that job, we'll have to see. But I also have brought uh, Wallace back. And I, I, I really toyed with bringing three kickers in the camp because I don't have to bring 105 kids in and bring three place kickers to me. You know. But I, I kind of said I better have one. I'd rather, if I don't have one, then. So I brought Wallace back and all three of them will compete. But I'm, I'm not going to go real long before I make a decision on that. We've got to get somebody ready to go. Ironically enough, I didn't even know this, but Babor is from the same high school as Nick Ferrara. So Babor uh, was on the team, and he was a senior when, when Nick was a, a, a sophomore. Now, obviously, replacing Darius would be tough to lose a talent like that, but how confident are you in the young guys, most notably Tory Smith, if you could focus on one guy like Kevin Dorsey, too, just what makes them capable of replacing Darius and stepping in and being reliable targets for Chris? Well, losing Darius is, you know, you, you, you don't want to just replace a guy who's on four, too. But, uh, you know, we've been bringing this class along for a while. And I, I think we've got nine receivers that I wouldn't be afraid to put into the game. And you know, the, the problem is that it's going to be tremendous competition to make our first two teams because these three pretty good receivers are probably going to be on scout team or at least going to be rotating. Up and back. So, um, you know, kind of it already happened. We had Torrey Smith last year playing split end. He beat out Isaiah Williams, who was a, a senior. 
And then Adrian Cannon this spring kind of put the pressure on Corey. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. 